Walker. Hmm? Just gave Gizmo his bottle. I made an, instead of a half a bottle, I actually made a whole bottle this time, and he inhaled all of it. He enjoyed it. You feel better? Hmm. <laughs> you sweet little thing. He's starting to get a little bit of a pooch, <laughs> but at least he's growing. He's a lot longer than what it used to be. This is the bottle we just had. And then, normally I only give it to about here, but he had an entire bottle all the way up to here this time. He drank all of it. He was pretty hungry this time. I give him a bottle twice a day. Never at the same time because it usually depends on when he actually gets hungry. Sometimes I'll give it as soon as I wake up because that's when he's meowing at me the most because he's hungry. I'll give him the bottle and then if he's still feeling a little bit hungry afterwards, then I give him some kitten canned food and he eats about half of that and that fills him completely up. And other times, um, like not when I first wake up, but usually after lunch or something, he'll start meowing at me and letting me know he's hungry and I'll make him a bottle and... Sometimes that's all he needs is just the bottle, and after he's eaten, he's full and he doesn't eat canned food. He does pretty well with the, the bottle thing. When I first got, when, uh, first got this bottle, the nipple, um, on it, I thought that it came with a hole in the top of it so that the milk could come out. Turns out you have to cut a hole in it. And a friend of mine came over and she cut a hole into it trying to help me get it to where the milk would come out because it was just being difficult and then at some point when I was getting ready to feed him his bottle I discovered that because his teeth are getting sharper he accidentally cut a big slit in the side of it and as I was about to put it in his mouth I discovered that this top part that was right here was barely hanging on by a thread because one of his teeth had sliced right through it so I removed it and now this is what's left but it's fine because the milk comes straight out and he just drinks it like that. You go better? Sweet little kitty. He's so cute. He's a sweet baby. No clue how old you are but he's adorable. He loves that bottle. As soon as I, like after I do this the whole time, just to shake up the water in the formula, then I will, like, pick him up and take him to the living room and sit on the love seat so I can feed him. And here he is, like, I've got him in one hand and the bottle in the other, and he's reaching out with his paws trying to grab it, wanting to drink it while I'm walking to the love seat. I'm like, hang on, let me sit down so I can feed you. Maybe one of these times I can get a video of me actually feeding him because he inhales it, he's, he drinks it pretty fast. He loves that bottle. Yes, you do. So, based on the way he's acting, he's going to be falling asleep soon now that his tummy's full. So, that's it. Can you say goodbye, Gizmo? Can you say bye? He's like, I'm sleepy, mommy. Oh. I have to see who's coming over. Hey, Jasper. Jasper. <laughs> Sweet little baby. Alrighty. Say bye-bye.